beautiful souls welcome back to my channel my name is michelle we talk all things life love spirituality law of attraction and all of that juicy goodness we are here for a quick little manifesting tip and we are going to use my the book that i love i always say my book because i swear it it's like i live in it it's like my home it's one of my favorite books that gets me back into alignment when i am manifesting so let's see what the universe has for us Take a nice big deep breath. Welcome back to my channel. I hope I leave you feeling invigorated and excited about your manifesting journey. All right, let's see what the universe has for us. Angels and guides, please bring us the messages that my viewers need to hear today. All right. <laughs> it says, I listen to the wisdom of my heart. If you find that money issues are causing disagreements or are creating distance between you and another person, you can work with love, the universe, to change the situation. First, get quiet and go within. You may notice that you feel an uncomfortable energy in your stomach or right around the lower diaphragm. This indicates that you are struggling over who is right or who will win the power struggle. And that area is your solar plexus. There is no way to win when you are fighting at this level. To change the situation, work at an energy level. You can start by going to your heart and releasing your anger and hurt. Send the other person your love, release the need to be right or have it your way. You are not giving up your values or sacrificing your ideas, ideals. You are simply taking the energy out of your solar plexus, sometimes called your power center, and moving it into your heart where all true solutions are found. And this is so true. Anytime I have clients who are struggling with their partners and they're just in disagreement, maybe with their kids, I always say, move that energy up into your heart space and how can you respond with love? How can you shower them with love? How can you show them a response that will nurture them instead of attacking them or telling them that they're wrong or claiming that you are right? We always move from our heart space, not from our solar plexus, which is our power, our anger, our frustration. Okay, so it says, keep working with this until you can feel love and forgiveness for the other person. It may take several days. Oh, wait, I skipped a part. You are simply taking the energy out, out of your solar plexus and moving it into your heart. Keep working with this until you feel love and forgiveness for the other person. It may take several days or even longer before you can let go of anger and begin to have loving feelings. In the interim, do not take any action. Don't argue, don't call, or do anything other than clean up your energy between you and sending the other person love. And if this means you asking for space from your partner, then do that. You know, if you have a vacation home or like a beach house, go there for a night or two. There's nothing wrong with taking space in arguments. Or if you're having an argument with a parent or with a sibling or somebody, take space until you feel grounded again and you're not triggered and reacting and trying to hurt the other person. Because essentially you're drinking the poison and expecting them to die when you do that. You're hurting your own energetic body. Okay, here we go. It says, where do we leave off? Um, at some point, you will feel a shift. You will feel love. Tell the other person mentally that you refuse to get into a power struggle. You are taking an I win, you lose situation and making it into a we both win situation. When you go to your heart for answers, you open the doors for a new solution, a higher answer to appear. Let this difficult situation go and you will find the new ideas coming to you. And this is so true because um, when you go to your heart for answers, you open the doors for a new solution. And when we are filled with trauma and uh, so essentially people only fight when they're in their fear. So when somebody is feeling attacked, when somebody is feeling like they're not safe, that's when this frustration, anger, worry, um, guilt, shame, all of that starts to stir up. And when we get squeezed like a ketchup bottle, guess what comes out of our mouth? All of those emotions that have been buried inside of us. So when we can come back into our heart and just be like, all right, I'm not going to hate this person. They're frustrating me. They're not seeing my side of things. I can't control them. What can I control? I can control how my body feels in this moment. And if we're fighting about money, if we're fighting about our family, our careers, um, something as simple as cleaning a dish, ask yourself, do I want to choose love here or do I want to hurt myself with frustration, anger, pain, guilt, whatever it is? Choose love because it's all fear. You're fearing 
that maybe you're having feelings surface from childhood. Maybe nobody heard you. Nobody paid attention to you. Nobody understood you. Nobody um, thought you were ever smart enough or thought you were right. So now you spend your adulthood trying to be right and trying to prove your point and trying to be understood. And you've now attracted a partner who's not doing any of that. So this essentially is for your healing. You're being brought these challenging situations at work with maybe a boss or a coworker. And the universe is bringing you these people because you're needing to purge. You're getting squeezed and you're feeling frustrated. And it's because the universe wants you to heal this. And when you heal this, guess what you attract? You attract money. You attract loving relationships, better careers, better opportunities. But first you have to identify what is this person doing that's frustrating me? How can I choose love? How can I come from my heart and not respond? You first take space, evaluate the situation, say, why is this triggering me? Why is what this person is doing triggering me? Oh, from my childhood, I didn't feel heard. I didn't feel seen. I felt misunderstood. And this person's doing all of that. So how can I forgive them and see that I attracted them to me? And now I can release that and say, thank you universe for allowing me the opportunity to face my fear and know that I'm okay. I don't need to be seen. I don't need to be heard by them. I hear myself, I nurture myself, and I know that everything is okay. And that is freedom. I actually just finished a fear course. So if any of you are interested, it's free, it's donation-based. You just watch videos. It's kind of like watching YouTube, but the messages are so profound and it is so enlightening. I actually didn't even know that I had some fears still hidden underneath the surface. Believe me, I had so many fears about being on camera, so many fears about, you know, just speaking from my heart and not scripting these videos. I was like, what if I say something stupid? Or I had fear about the comment section. What if somebody doesn't like what I'm doing and they, and they throw a little hate my way to my channel? So I noticed a lot of fears that I had to move through while I was doing this course. And I'm also noticing now that I finished the course, I've been seeing how my fears are blocking my manifestations. So if you're on my channel wondering how to manifest quicker or uh, more efficiently, you need to do this course. Watch a couple of videos, see if you resonate, and let's dive deeper into what are your stories around money, around relationships, around career? What is blocking you? This course will help you identify that. It's called Fear Alchemy. Leave a link below. Just go sign up. It's donation-based, so you can donate $100. You can donate $50. I donated a couple hundred because it was so profound. So I highly recommend you guys going over there, better yourselves, let's up our manifesting game and let's face our fears so we can live through life knowing that as soon as we feel a little nervousness in our belly, we can move that up to our heart and make decisions from our heart and start to live more heart led. I hope you enjoyed this message. I can always count on this book to just bring up so much goodness inside of me and from the universe. Like, comment, subscribe, help me get these messages out there and you have to join my fear group. So once you join the Fear Alchemy course, there's a telegram that you can join and we're all gonna chat on there and we're just gonna kind of shoot the shit and see what kind of fear surface for us and we're gonna use each other as support. All right, lovies, I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.